Hmm. Hello, YouTube and the YTPC. Well, the weather has turned here. Seems like the cold weather has arrived. I think we got pretty lucky for a while. And even this week, uh, Wednesday, this last Wednesday, it was up almost 70 degrees here. But it didn't take long. It dropped down into the 30s. And we are about 30 right now. So I'm kind of down in my codger corner. Down in my basement here, I've got a little area. And I've got some pipe stuff. And I don't smoke down here too often. You know, the smoke does tend to migrate throughout the house and... You know, it doesn't really bother me, but... It's a bit uncouth these days to have that smoke smell. So, I've been out in the garage already this morning. Well, I've got some coffee. I thought I'd just pop in here quick and make a video. It's been a while since I posted a video. I'd like to get something up. Just to keep improving my channel. And I've been meaning to make a video for Sam at Doing It Wrong. He was doing a giveaway for 300 subscribers, I believe. Now, the, the giveaway's already closed. And a winner has been chosen, so I'm out of that. That's not a problem. I don't, um, I don't know if I was going to participate in uh, receiving the giveaway anyway. But he did have a question about what our daily pipe maintenance is, and I've been thinking about that because I'd watched some other responses, and I think a lot of people are similar. Um, but before I get to that, let me just a little bit of housekeeping. I am smoking my 7LE Series 3. It's a 129 shape. And in it, I have the Sherlock Holmes blend from Peterson. Did you notice that? The pipe did not need to be relit, but I relit it anyway. It's a bit out of habit. I am trying to not relight so often, and uh, lately it's it's been working. You know, the more you light, the hotter it gets. Reduces flavor. Uh, more prone to tongue bite. But, uh, I don't know, it's just a habit. I probably also tamp a little bit too often. So, and making a video. <laughs> when I make a video, I always want to... You never want that pipe to go out, so I uh, tend to puff on it a little harder. But Anyway, back to the subject. So, Sam at Doing It Wrong was asking what our daily pipe maintenance is. And I just finished this one, which is my Savinelli 114 Roma Lucite. I had some Missouri Meerschaum's Country Gentleman blend in it. And so when I finish this, basically what I do is I'll take a pipe tool. I just got a pipe nail here and just kind of loosen up the ash and the dottle and whatever your ash tray is or ash can just got a little ceramic cup the garage out there I have a just a, a tin can and when that fills up I dump that in the flower bed or the burn pit so you know you just kinda loosen up any of the dottle tap it out I usually just give the bowl a little bit of a tap, get all that loose stuff out. And then what I do is I'll take the pipe tool or you know, whatever I'm using, the pick, 
on a check tool or something. And I usually just kind of, you know, I kind of go around the bowl and just kind of smooth out any bit of that ash residue. And I don't know, like in my mind, I think like that's adhering it, you know, to the cake layer and just kind of helps smooth it out. So um, I don't put a lot of effort into building cake. Um, when a pipe is new, you know, I might give it a shake after a smoke, but you know, once I've got the pipe broken in pretty well, you know, I just I just smooth it out like that and you know, give it a, a final tap. Just give a little a little blow through it, make sure it's clear. Because what I'm not going to do as a daily maintenance item is run a pipe cleaner through this. And the reason for that is um, I prefer filtered pipes. Um, so there's filter in here. You know, I want to make sure the pipe's cooled down before I take it apart. So immediately after smoking, it's still warm. I'm not going to worry about taking it apart. Um, as long as the draft hole is clear, I'm not concerned about it. Um, usually pipe cleaners are more like a weekly maintenance thing for me. You know, maybe once a week if I've been smoking a pipe, you know, a few times um, during the week it might get a pipe cleaner. You know, that basically cleans out anything that might be in the way for me. Um, you know, that's a good opportunity to look at the filter. I don't change the filter every time. In fact, um, that's also, you know, maybe I'll change it once a week if it's still looking okay. You know, if there's no uh, blockage in the draft, I might just leave it. Um, and then, like, if we went a little bit further, maybe monthly, maybe bi-monthly, you know, I might take a pipe cleaner dipped in, you know, a cleaning solution, some maybe some vodka, alcohol, something like that, run it through the draft hole and the stem. Um, try to get any of that ashy taste out. Um, if you're tasting just kind of like stale ash and it doesn't go away, because sometimes I'll notice if a pipe sits for a while, like if you don't smoke a pipe for maybe you know, a month or two, when you come back to it, it might have a bit of that kind of stale, ashy taste. Um, usually that goes away within a few minutes um, of lighting a bowl. But if you if you smoke a pipe and it tastes a little ashy or bitter, um, I know people talk about a pipe being sour. Not that far, but if it's a little bitter, to me, that indicates like, okay, I need to do a little further cleaning. Um, every once in a while I might take a Q-tip and uh, some alcohol and try to clean down in the shank a little bit more. But that's like maybe every six months. Um, I really haven't had a need to do salt treatment. I've done one salt treatment on a cob that was ghosted with Captain Black Grape. But I don't, I don't normally find that necessary. So, basically, daily maintenance is I smoke them, dump out the ash, you know, make sure the draft hole is clear, set it aside, you know, let it dry out a bit, and it's good for the next one. So, all right. Well, anyway, I do appreciate everyone watching these videos. Want to leave a comment? Let me know what you think. Um, anything you recommend or do different for daily maintenance. Um, congrats again to Sam doing it wrong on the 300 subs and congrats to the winner of the giveaway. Um, I do have some more video ideas coming. Um, sometimes it's just it's just a matter of taking time so again thanks for everyone that watches and uh, you have a good day now.